you live in a building, this series is for you. So, Margarita, my first question for you is, is that true? Can you verify that this program did in fact cover the majority of the cost of the installation? Hi there. Today's Energy Audit Takeaways episode is a good one. It has a situation the homeowner has a heat pump that they need to replace. This is going to do a good job of demonstrating go through the Home Performance with Energy Star program before you replace your heat pump and you tighten your envelope the rebates increase for the HVAC. So I'm in Upper Marlboro for my energy audit today, and it's gonna be one that I wanna to try to see through from start to finish. The heat pump went out right before the audit. I'm gonna show her a pathway to where she can tighten up her envelope and possibly get the heat pump replaced and maybe spend out of pocket what she would have spent had she not gone through the program. So in other words, she might have replaced the heat pump and never got the insulation done and spent the same amount of money. And we're gonna see it through, but sometimes that's how the math works out. Let's check it out. Well, my work on my audit from Friday with the heat pump that is not in working condition right now has extended over to Sunday. And I'm finishing up here, getting ready to put the numbers together. I want to go through them with you. It looks pretty good, actually. You know, I do think that going through this program and getting the insulation done before getting your heat pump replaced is definitely the way to go. And I'm going to show you what I mean. The numbers for this project look pretty good. The total investment for the insulation is $37.97. The rebate for the insulation is $14.97.98, so the balance for just the insulation is $22.99.02. But when you take into consideration the fact that you are doing the shell work, which increases the rebate for the HVAC that you're paying for anyway, your total out of pocket looks great. I want to try to tie everything together and a trip into the attic to take a look around can really help with that. The first thing that we want to do is we want to seal the house. And when you take a look at some of the areas in the attic that are susceptible to air leakage, you can see with the discolored insulation all over the place that air has been basically running through those channels, through those pathways for years and years. So the question becomes, you know, why would you want to put a brand new efficient unit into a house that is leaky and have it send air through a duct system that has a lot of deficiencies? And people are doing that day in and day out, you know, all the time. And that is why the power companies, Pepco and BGE in Maryland, that's why they will increase the incentives when you replace your HVAC once you've gone through the program and you've done the shell work because that is where the true energy savings lies, sealing the house. So, Margarita. Correct. So the... Pepco rebate program was able to give me enough rebate for HVAC plus the rebate for the insulation that in total would cover all the insulation costs. And that was a, a big bonus. So pretty much I got it for free. Yeah. Another question I had is, does it make sense why the rebates are so much higher through this program? Yes, it does make sense. Um, it's how say it's all parts come together and make the bigger picture. Thank you uh, very much for you know allowing me to interview you. I think this is really going to help you know a lot of people. 